Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Z. I'm Adarius. We're Night's Treks. We are here at Universal Orlando Resort at Universal Studios to stalk down some more construction updates in Scare Zones. Oh, that was lightning. Uh, it's another stormy day if you were with us last week. It's probably gonna rain again. We're gonna take you all the way back to the front though. Right now, we're in San Francisco. There's some big updates in San Francisco. We'll meet you right back here in a few minutes. We're gonna give you some tips and tricks on if you're a scaredy cat, but you still wanna enjoy Halloween Horror Nights. Because guess what? We were once scaredy cats too. And One of us is still a Kind of us still are. <laughs> I got a first couple of tips here as we're heading into Hollywood. By the way, on the way in, same two structures as before, just more lighting. So I think we're gonna get that cool design like we got last year all over the ground and the signs. That's gonna be really cool. That was really cool actually. Yeah. yeah. If you have one of the multi-day passes and you know you're gonna be back time and time again, just come during the day because it'll still be light. So you'll go into the houses, come out, it'll be light. It won't be as scary. But hot tip, wear some sunglasses because you won't be able to see anything when you first go into the house. That is Good to know. That's very good to know. I forget it every year. I forget to get glasses every year because of that. You gotta get some sunglasses. And for some reason, is it me or the house is getting darker each year? Like when you walk in, it's like pitch black. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, taking a walk through Hollywood. Same as last time. Structures and speakers. That's it. Speaking of scare zones, since we're doing the scare zone updates, find a safe way to get through the scare zone if you're scared. Sidewalks are always a safe bet. Over in San Francisco, that's not going to be completely possible. Maybe go around by the zombies scare zone and then go through Battery Park, like the Lagoon Show area. Maybe, but we'll have more on that team in preview. Yeah, so during team member preview, this guy gets to come and I don't. So he's going to be alone and he's going to try to find a way around the zombie scare zone since he doesn't really do zombies. But yeah. But we're going to try to find a way around. But we're going to link our Patreon down below uh, if you want to be one of the first ones to see that video come out. Patrons will have almost instant access to team member preview night on Tuesday the 28th, I think it is. 27th, yeah, Tuesday, 27th. Tuesday, the tw Tuesday 27th. Yeah. <laughs> talking about finding a safe way through the scare zones watch out for the stilt walkers because they go fast and you don't want to knock them over you don't want to get knocked over oh we got a transformer coming out um also the chainsaw people will come out of nowhere and they're loud and they're fast <laughs> all right we're over here at battery park there is a structure in the front it looks like it's going to hold a lot of decorations but also back here in the area where you come and eat your food where there's the tables normally the stuff that was here last week is still here with the lighting the structures but now they've added speakers and they've added the holders for the big tvs so i don't know if those are going to be menus or i don't know they've never done tvs back here before it's going to be interesting for sure i don't know those are usually longer like this way not this way so this is normally where they have an eatery right but if there's a scare zone in this area they still might try to make it you know oh like, maybe they're like going to connect it to the zombie scare zone maybe maybe speaking of scare zones you have to go through the zombie scare zone and you're wanting to avoid being scared the tip is the trick is to not look scared don't immediately start screaming don't run please don't run you'll hurt yourself you'll hurt somebody else and they will chase you because they know you're easy to scare don't scream back at them either yeah a lot of people are like oh, you can't scare me you're literally paying these people to scare you try not to scream at them yeah. as like your defense mechanism yeah to get through it the team member will come up to you <laughs> yeah don't do that <laughs> All right, so unfortunately for me, especially with this scare zone here, there's no safe necklaces or safe necklaces, whatever you want to call them. The, the necklaces that light up, <laughs> that tell the scare actors not to scare you, they're not this part. They don't exist here? No. They're not as friendly. <laughs> no. A lot of people think that SeaWorld, Disney, and Universal are all owned by the same entity and they're all just one park and they're yeah. not. So those necklaces are over at SeaWorld. Sorry. It's okay. 
That's why y'all got me here to help y'all navigate around the zones the best way we can. Let's take a look inside of the zombie scare zone here by the lagoon. There's a few updates. They're just adding a little bit here and there. other entertainment options and right behind me we have the nightmare fuel it's not gonna be nightmare fuel this time it's it's called something else but it's still along the lines of nightmare fuel because like the past two years that's what they were known as nightmare fuel good show a lot of pyrotechnics it is a little on the scandaly side so enter at your own risk with little kids okay <laughs> <laughs> just, just like throw that out there a ghost cord where <laughs> They're working on something back there. They are. They're working on something back there for sure. Oh, oh, look, yeah. oh. I see somebody. Oh, oh, we do see somebody. Hi, hey, what y'all doing? Oh, they're getting ready. They're getting oh, ready. Yeah. Oh, yes. Could you imagine if it's long. one of the members back there already? Because if I'm not mistaken, they're already well, making their way this way. A lot of the fuel girls, if I'm not mistaken, all but like one is from overseas. Tiana's the only one that's here in the States. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are from Europe and so they have to travel to get here. They rent a big Airbnb usually mid-August, like the first or second week in August. So I, they haven't posted anything on social media. They did last year when they got here. They're like, we finally made it. So we haven't heard anything. They're working on the set though. That's promising. It but, won't be long. But let me say this though. I have been following them a little bit and some yeah. of them are over here. So there are more that there, are okay. There, so there are some here. <laughs> the Fuel Girls are a dance troupe. Yes. That works with fire, pyrotechnics, and then they also incorporate a dance team from Universal. So there's team members, Universal Dance Troupe, and Fuel Girls, and they all work together to create this really cool show. Don't miss it. They're already working on it. Super exciting. And if you get too scared, just come see scandally clad women and men at this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like they are testing the water elements over here in the construction zone right across from Transformers. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can get a better look. By chance, do you think that they're uh, practicing some water effects for like the HHN nighttime show? Oh. I mean, now that the projections are back. Yeah, we haven't had a nighttime lagoon show for HHN since Ghoulish. Yeah, so that would be cool if they were gonna have, but that, I mean, they haven't announced a lagoon show, so I don't know. Okay. But if, if they have a lagoon show, that's another option to keep you from getting scared. True that, true that. I mean, it'll be a short time to put it together, but <laughs> yeah. Well, they've probably been putting it together and just haven't told anybody. They're really going to keep the secrets. Do that. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> We're here in Diagon Alley and there's proof that the Death Eaters are coming back. We're going to go down Nocturne Alley and see if there's also the boxes over there. Because last time they were in Nocturne Alley, it was really creepy. So. Yes. I wonder if I make a sound. <sighs> <laughs> that was a Dementor. I was trying to do a Dementor. Okay, we brought you here because in our video from two years ago, we were talking about how Diagon Alley was a safe zone and don't worry, you can cool off here. It's not anymore. They now have Death Eaters here. So it's still a little creepy. Not as bad as the scare zones. And if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you're going to be like, that doesn't bother me. And so it's still a safe zone. Yes. Let's go down Nocturne Alley. Hey, 
it is super grainy, but here in Nocturnale, they have added the Death Eater boxes with some reflective tape because apparently a lot of people were getting cut up by the corners because it gets really dark in here, especially if you just come out from the sun. Oh yeah, you can't see anything now. There we go. Boo house, baby. That's not boo house, that's blum house. You doof, that's blum house. Oh man, lightning and thunder. Oh! So I will say, I'm not really a fan of anything scary, so bloom house is not really my thing. It's blum house. Blum house. Oh, that's a bloom? You said bloom. <laughs> blum house. <laughs> For here in San Francisco, there's blum house scare zone here. So, from last time, there's this big structure with the B and the H that you call the Boo House. <laughs> They've also added speakers to this big structure here in the middle. Let's go see what they've added to the structure in front of the Fast and the Furious exit and possibly, possibly get our umbrellas out also. Yes, let's, let's go ahead and head that way right now, shall we? Man, look at these clouds over here. They are dark. The clouds, what is, what is up there? It, it looks like a projector, but also a fog machine up there too, along with it. It, it. I don't think it's a fog machine, but it could be a. I mean, let's see closer look at it. Let's see if we get even closer. So what do you what, what do you think? It, it is projector. That's definitely a lens for sure. Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> we also have around the structure, around the four corners, the black and green painted wooden panels. Oh. Hey, right. Let's see if we can pick up the color for you. Know. Oh yeah, yeah. Here you are. You can you can barely see it. I hope this comes through. Oh look, there's another boo house. <laughs> boo! <laughs> we got rain. <laughs> Feet fillers are back. <laughs> They're back, baby. Yeah, we said that in our last video, but just in case you didn't see it, feet builders are back. Also, check out our last video. I feel like we should take shelter. This is looking pretty bad. Um, also, the walls are down in between the Games Amusement Starbucks and the Bulls Gym gift shop. But it looks like you still can't get through there. And I don't know if that's just because of the parade or what. But, well. Okay, so we're taking shelter inside of Finnegan's, but we want to talk about the last scare zone scaredy cat tip we have is Especially outside of the San Francisco scare zone, the Blumhouse scare zone is going to be sit back and people watch before you walk through. You'll know what to expect, you'll know where the scares are going to come from, and that's really the only scare zone you're not going to be able to get around. The zombie one, you can walk through Central Park. Um, the front one, you might be able to go through the gift shop. The Hollywood and the New York scare zones, you can walk on the sidewalks. But the San Francisco, there's really no getting around it. So just stop, people watch, enjoy them getting scared and not you, <laughs> and then you'll know what to plan for. Honestly, our favorite thing a lot of nights, grab some hot and dogs and people watch in New York. Yes. It's really a fun time. Because like, it's them getting scared, not you. It's like comedy night. <laughs> it's a dinosaur! inside of a scare zone is to definitely people watch. You can do this over in San Francisco since there's not really, there's nowhere to get around San Francisco. With the zombie scare zone, you can kind of go through Central Park, the lagoon, this New York and Hollywood. Oh shoot. We should get out of the middle of the road. Oh, oh my God. We should be out. We should move. Where are we gonna go? I don't care inside, locker room. <laughs> there we go. 
Alright, now that we've talked about how to not be scared in the scare zones, let's talk about the houses. My favorite thing to do in the houses to not be scared is to wear earplugs. If it's a particularly gross house, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like the bug house, I will also wear a mask to block the smell and a jacket if I know things are gonna be hanging from the ceiling so that way nothing touches my arms. But the scare just can't touch you though. Um, they, they'll get close to you. You might even feel a breath, but they can't touch you. Not supposed to, but there, there may be one incident where they might accidentally like reach out too far because they might have misjudged. So last year was the first year I ever got accidentally touched by a scare actor. And this is bad, <laughs> this store is bad. Last year was the first year I got accidentally touched by a scare actor. Dr. Oddfellow in his early years in the New York scare zone ran at me and didn't stop in time. It ran into me and it was comical. I wasn't offended, I wasn't like scared, I wasn't, yeah, oh, yeah. vampire Oddfellow <laughs> accidentally ran into me. And as soon as he realized he couldn't stop, he went from like scary face to, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> and he ran into me and I was like, oh my God, what the heck? And he was like, sorry. <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> and bared his fangs and ran away. <laughs> you could barely almost tell. <laughs> no, he kept character very well, except for like half a second when he was like, sorry. Also with the fight or flight, if you feel like you're about to swing on someone, keep them in your pockets. If you know you're one of those that will swing first, ask question later, put them in your pocket. <laughs> hey. Universal don't give out second chances when you touch a scare actor like that. <laughs> you, you'll be done. <laughs> yes, yeah, so with that being said, just put it in your pocket. Just be aware of your surroundings, all right? If you feel like you're at that point where you're about to punch somebody, best course of action is to get on the sidewalk Take or a away break. from that area. Take yeah. a break. <laughs> if you are the fight or flight that punches people, this may not be the event for you. Yeah, my dad, that's why my dad doesn't come. That, that's no. why, yeah. <laughs> my don't, dad won't come to this. Don't do it. Don't waste the money. You'll just get kicked out, and then your group will get kicked out, and then wasted all the money and time. You'll be on a walk of shame through social media That's if you yeah. never run across the wrong person who's TikTok famous or something. Don't, oh, no. do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. So I think the reason that the music stopped was because something got hit by lightning, because now all the rides are delayed. So, no ride for us. Check out Sahara Traders. Heat reactive mug. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the design. How it'll come through. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. They have all the shirts in a row here. Frozen. And this one right here is black light reactive. Look at it. Oh, this one? Yeah, it's all like neon. This one's supposed to be black light reactive too. Hang on. Oh, it just got really bright. Wow. Oh, I found a little boot. Oh, it's a coaster. How cute. Okay, so we were, I was talking about how I look people dead in the eye going through a house. And he was like, yeah, you just do the thing with your eyes. And I was like, what thing? <laughs> do the thing, do it. They're like, I shut it. Don't y'all make fun of me. All right. Don't make fun, don't make fun. Like it's a shutter stop. Like it's a stop motion picture. <laughs> yeah, like, like, so like you're still seeing where you're walking in a way, but you're also like rapidly blinking your eyes. So that way, if any like, jump scares were to happen, you might time it just right to where your eye could be closed. And then oh, by see. then you'll be able to hear it and you know they're right there and then you'll be able to open your eyes to see I just what do it this, is. I just do this. So I can barely, like this one's completely closed and then this one's almost closed so I'm looking through my eyelashes. <laughs> but my eyes were completely like closed and I was looking down through the exorcist house and I was just looking at feet. It's a good thing she didn't have her eyes open in the exorcist house because I can tell you right now, Homegirl got me when she was on the ground, okay? <laughs> and I was scared. He's like, don't look down. I'm like, I'm only looking down. <laughs> All right, it's time for a dance break. You said dance break? Yeah. <laughs> the best three tips we have for you. Find out the lore of the houses. That always helps mm -hmm. me. That way you know the story and you can focus on the story rather than the scares. Stay in the middle of your group. Don't be the first person, don't be the last person. And that leads us to our best and final tip, don't go alone. If you know your friend's one of those that love to point people out in the group, maybe try to avoid that friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, so don't go alone, for sure. And try, if you know your friend is really scared, don't don't point them out to scare actors. Yeah. They're there to have a good time too, so. This, I mean, there's, there's a person I wanna look at here. Your friend. They're watching this video. You know who you are. Thank you so much for checking with us today. We hope these tips help you not to be such a scaredy cat at the next Halloween Horror Nights. And uh, we'll see you in the fog. 
Thank you so much to our patron members. If you want to be the first to find out about where we're going, what we're doing, updates, tips and tricks, become a patron today. Link is down below. We'll see you real soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.